A spiritual read with Pamela Teresa is the closest connection to lost loved ones possible, and she relies solely on spirit communication and not on psychic impressions known as a psychic read. Everything out of her mouth is from spirit, and nobody knows more about the truth and about you than your loved ones in spirit. They are with you always and want to offer their help and love. What you're about to see is an actual spiritual read recorded during a group read session. Sit back and marvel at the amazing abilities of spiritual medium, Pamela Teresa, medium in the raw. Now, I may we have another cold case because these cold cases are starting to take me off. No, they caught them within two days. Was it through the inner, there, there was some, um, there was some electronic evidence. Uh, they're showing, he's showing me there was electronic evidence. Yeah, there was they, stuff uh, in print that they were able to follow the trail. They, um, this ex-girlfriend went to the point of getting a job at a sports bar where he went in every Monday night in order to do this and they followed him out. She hired two men. Well, don't tell me. Um, but there was an electronic, he's showing me the electronic trail. Oh, the is what they used as evidence. Showed okay. what happened on That's why he's saying electronic. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm going, doo, 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 because they have this guy on surveillance. And yeah, that's yeah. why I had to step back for a minute because this case that I'm talking about that I'm going to be looking at next Sunday, they have this guy on surveillance. But um, you have, your your detectives did a great, better job than yeah, what we're doing okay. with here. They're, I don't know if they're getting overwhelmed or they're just getting sloppy, but... Um, was this here in Jacksonville? No, Louisiana. That's the problem. So also, too, he was talking to me about North Carolina earlier. Who? Where's the North Carolina connection? I own a home also in North Carolina. Okay, yeah, okay. So that's definitely him. Yeah. Um, that is one of his, he loves that space. He loves North Carolina. So he's talking about North Carolina as being awesome. <coughs> that, I think, is your is your. That's option. my piece. That's what he's saying. That's my piece. This is where you get good. You're okay with that. Um, did he have children? talking about his children and he's actually kind of, he's talking in ways of yeah I'm really sorry because you know some of the things that I did really kind of led up to this he's showing me like there were people like probably you stepping in place going hello what the hell are you thinking here yeah get your together this is not going to end well so it's almost like you knew this is not going to end well he's talking to me about that so he's apologizing for putting you through hell and back um, and that's the words he's using. He's, I think the, I think he's the one that has the little potty mouth. Besides me, <laughs> <laughs> I have a potty mouth as you well. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to get on the about that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's definitely so. Anyway, he's like, quit filtering what I'm talking about here. Did he have a fascination with? Um, history with like oh, yeah. war history that like. Okay, because he's showing me um, all sorts of just interest in the United States of America, oh, the yeah. history of our yeah, country. He took after me on that. Okay, wow. so yeah. That kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just giving me some really cool visions as to his exploration and then I like one of his favorite books was one of his American history books. Is what he's showing me. Do you still have that book? I. He. He took it from the library and never took it back. <laughs> 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 He's like, man, I did that once. Yeah, with God was the oh, wind. He always, he always had books. So anyway, yeah, so that one in particular. And I think that you might find something in there. And the reason why it's American history. And I swear it looks to me like on the cover of this American history book. Um, it's like we have... Um, guys in white wigs or something. There's like a picture on that or he's showing me. 1700s. Okay, yeah, that's what he's showing me. Oh. 16th century. Okay, so he's showing me that and um, and being just, just very extremely passionate and excited about that. So that's, you know, where he took after you on that. But where's his father? Where's he's at home. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's where he's like, you know, where's my dad? Yeah. So that's why I'm speaking in that term, you know, where he really should be here. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Was it your father? Your father's here still, did you say? Yeah. Your husband? You're still with his dad, correct? Okay, that's what you're saying. 
<laughs> you know how he's coming through with us? That's a big surprise. <laughs> oh my God. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so he's just goofing off with you, and that's the kind of personality and relationship yeah. that y'all had. It was very real, and um, kind of loose in the way of let's just like let the yeah. loose and talk like that. Did I not tell you that's probably, what, 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 are, you, what are you thinking? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> exactly. So um, now, is this your husband or your father who, who works with their hands a lot? Because he's showing me a male's hands as in working as far as a craftsman with the hands. I don't know exactly. My what. husband is, he doesn't do it anymore, but he used to build like, furniture and stuff like that. Craftsman with his hands, and he's just giving me a vision of his hands being very important, but there's something wrong with his hands right now. Uh, he's a type, if there was, he wouldn't tell me. Okay, just like kind of tight and um, this might be coming from him. You know, it's so strange, but he sometimes he does do that a lot. That's what, be doing his this is what your son way. is showing me, that, that he's doing like this because yeah. it's like kind of tight. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, your husband just wanted to kill everybody is what he's telling me. Pretty much. Yeah, it's just <laughs> he was more like me and like, I'm going to crack this or I don't oh, care. Yeah. I'm not going to sit down and cry. Give me my gun so I can go shoot everybody. <laughs> you know, that yeah, was... He's the, got that personality. Yeah, so that was... That personality. Yeah, so that's what his father when this whole thing went down. You know, just hold me back, tie me up, put me in a hole, because people are going to be dead here in a minute. More people are. So uh, he was the driving force behind making sure this thing was taken care of. There's a lot of power. Not to say that you weren't, but I um, mean, he was more like... Gun, uh, yeah, my... Get the stuff. My husband wanted these that he did, he will never take no for an answer and he went full force. This on is everything. what your son is showing me that your father was like. And in the case of this female that I'm telling you about, there's not a male presence. And so, and I've noticed this to be a pattern when in crimes like that, when it's just a, a, a female without the male presence, law enforcement just seriously are disrespectful. So, um, and not. So we we're very thankful that your husband was there because I think you would have had more of a struggle uh, dealing with this because they definitely needed to go down. Mm -hmm. And I'm all in favor of the death penalty. Thank you very much. Well, Louisiana, they, they didn't get it. <coughs> well, I'm just saying. Yeah. That. But, you know, it's personal. It's, it's fair that we feel this way, you know, <laughs> in cases such as this. But they'll have to atone for that when they pass over. Well, actually, they're yeah. going to have to. And so it would be better just to put them to work anyway, and they can work it out that way. That's why I'm like, I know there's truly no death. But seriously, get to work and start helping fix the messes that you made here. So that's why I'm like, the death penalty. I'm now, if I ask him, Go ahead. could he hear it? And maybe. Yeah, he's right here. Absolutely. He's with you. Every day. Every day I tell him I love him. And every day if. I ten because he died the month of May at ten o'clock when they declared him dead when they took the life support system. I tell him no matter where I'm at or what I'm doing, I stop and I say, I love you, Joseph. Oh, of course he hears. And you. I every morning going to work, I always tell him and talk to him and say, I love you, son. Of course. And I just want to make sure he hears. Of course, okay, that. of course. And he's also giving me snickerdoodles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does that make sense as to why he's giving me snickerdoodles? It's a very unique cookie. It's not like everybody makes them with sugar cookies, but he's giving me yeah. snickerdoodles. Warm out of the oven, delicious to smell and such like that. So him liking cookies and such like that. So, But snickerdoodles. So uh, maybe one of these times when you're smelling or thinking of snickerdoodles, this is my mission and purpose to link you in the same way I'm communicating with him. You can too. You do too. He is all up in your grill wanting to communicate. <laughs> all of your family members are. They really do want to communicate and be a part of this, you see. Um, and he said, make it more interesting. Okay, let's. Okay, this is not me. Do not take offense. He's like, we can get off that note. Let's live together now. Let's have more communication in a different way. Because I, I know you love me. But let's make it more interesting here. So he's more of the one that liked to have a little bit, kind of like the pirate on the sea, wanting to have interesting experiences, kind of that um, adventurer. He was. Okay. It's the same, his personality is the same. Have fun with him, keep off with him in the same way you did. In the same way, you're going to see magic happen to where you really become one with this relationship. It's no longer that I miss you and it's it's 5'10", you died at 5'10". 
I miss you. He's like, go back to the moment of my birth and say, hello, bright eyes. Yeah. <laughs> this is him, okay? All, all the words out of my mouth. And think of his birth because, and think of the beauty of who he was, and think of the beauty of who he is even now. Very much real, even more real. So those, you know, who are transition and of universal knowledge like he is, like my brother is, um, like your mother is, like your mother, like your mother, like your mother, like your brother, like everybody around I you. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm like, oh yeah. I see you people. Yeah. I do. Think about them as who they are, who they were. That's their core personality. That's, that's who they are. If you or someone you know would like to contact Pamela Teresa for a group or private read, or even arrange for a phone read, contact her at mediumintheraw.com or call 904-238-4359 and schedule your session and reconnect to your departed loved ones in spirit and experience the healing and uplifting gift for yourself. Pamela Teresa, Medium in the Raw.